it tonight. All right, so I'm kind of the closer. So we're getting close. Myself and Nadav are the only thing between you and, be and more conversation. And there is alcohol. And as a sailor, I don't want to keep anybody away from a good drink. So let me share a few thoughts. This is what I thought I heard tonight. We heard a vision articulated of a world in which we're, we're shifting from one of order, structure, stability, predictability, to a to an world of more chaos in many ways. Instability, lack of predictability, structure becomes a challenge. The, the takeaway that I thought I heard tonight was a couple of things. Number one, if you optimize your organization for a world of order, you got a high, as we would say in my previous life, you got a high probability of mission failure. That is not good. The one thing I would argue that unifies everybody in this room tonight, that doesn't matter what you do. You're a CIO, you're a CISO, you're a CEO, you're an investor. We all are tasked with generating outcomes. Every one of us is focused on trying to generate an outcome. And if you're, if you're gonna build a strategy predicated on a high degree of order in this world that we're living on, living in, boy, you're really calling probability of success really becomes challenging. So how do you create an organization, a vision that's designed to succeed in this world where it's on the edge of chaos. Now, my argument when I, in my previous life, I used to tell the teams I was a part of, chaos is opportunity, you guys. We spent our whole lives railing against this bureaucracy, against this structure that we were a part of in the DOD and as part of the government. Chaos gives us the opportunity to overcome this. Chaos gives us the opportunity to challenge the organization, to come up with different structures, different approaches that have a much higher probability of success in this world that we're living in. The thing I loved about being part of Team 8 in this new life for me is that in my mind, Team 8 is optimized to creating companies that are designed to thrive in this era of increased chaos or uncertainty. That's what we're all trying to do. And tonight you heard, didn't matter if you were in healthcare, didn't matter if you were in energy, didn't matter if you were doing something like Dropbox. Everybody is trying to figure out how do we create these structures that are designed to thrive in this world of uncertainty, unpredictability, high rates of change. And the two things that I always argue that we should all fall back on no matter what you do, number one, Never forget the power of people. We tend to always focus on technology. But I would argue it is the human dimension that makes the greatest difference and leads to the highest probability of success. And all this amazing technology and these great visions that you just heard tonight, in the end, they are all powered by motivated men and women. Man, every one of us wants to find those motivated men and women to be on our team. And we want to be part of teams that are led by motivated men and women. Secondly, in addition to this idea of the human piece, the other thing that I always thought was so important as a leader was, how do you, no matter what your role is, how do you help create this culture that will thrive in this era of uncertainty and chaos? It's not about constantly telling yourself, boy, I'm so low in this organization, there's nothing I can do. It's the boss, whoever the boss is. I used to remind the men and women I worked with, this thing we call DOD, it's us, you guys. And we're in a time and a place where we can make a difference. Let's focus on how we're going to make this difference. Let's focus on how we're going to generate this outcome because that's what the nation is counting on. And I would argue for all of us, that's what your organizations, that's what your customers, that's what your clients are counting on. How do we generate better outcomes? And based on what you heard tonight, I hope you're all excited about this idea that people can really make a difference and that chaos represents opportunity. And man, I always said in the end, just all you can ever ask for in life, just give me an opportunity. Give me an opportunity. Thanks very much, everybody. Over to Nadab. <clears throat> Amen.